We're approaching the time of year where you'll see some black bears coming out of the woods. And the population of bears and humans is on the increase, and that means chances of contact also rise. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us now after spending a day in the Great Smoky Mountains last month. John, what'd you learn? Well, Kim and Josh, wildlife officers from 13 southeastern states gathered in the Smokies to prepare for bear attack training. They also provided life-saving tips if you cross paths with a bear. In this mock scene, a wildlife officer plays the part of a hiker attacked by a bear in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Well, we're, we've got some open wounds, we're putting direct pressure. In this extensive training, wildlife officers prepared for the worst. Since 2000, black bears have killed two people in Tennessee. One here in the Smokies and six-year-old Elora Sinkus in Polk County eight years ago. To be clear, bear attacks are rare, but wildlife officers expect more. Human and bear populations are on the rise. I guess the best way to look at it is it's almost inevitably going to happen, but we can't tell you if it's going to happen tomorrow, in one year, in 10 years, in 100 years. And so more than likely it's going to happen, and we just never know when it'll happen. we got a name and a bear, and that's about it. Officers not only prepared for a gruesome scene like this, but offered life-saving tips. Ranger Steve Kloster says, stay calm. The best advice is, is to leave the bears alone. You know, um, if you're walking down the trail and you see a bear, the best thing to do is just stop and, and watch it. More than likely, if it's a wild bear, as soon as it sees you, it's going to turn and run away. But if a bear becomes aggressive and comes towards you, Kloster says you need to make yourself big and show dominance. Go! Make a lot of noise. Uh, bang pots and pans together if you have them. Wave sticks. You know, do stuff like that. That's only if you think the bear is coming at you. With bears and people coming closer to each other, officers say you should never feed the bears. You also need to make sure your trash is properly disposed. Because a bear sees that trash can as a as a a wonderful meal. And so when you teach that bear to go to trash cans, it just puts them in more and more um, conflict with, with humans because they're, they're seeing humans on a daily basis and, and that decreases their sensitivity to humans and that's usually when an altercation happens. Now wildlife officers from these southeastern states are creating a movement called BearWise. It's a work in progress and we'll have a website about living in bear country and how to behave. We'll let you know more when it's rolled out. Kim? John, thanks so much. And because of the growing bear population, the TWRA is recommending that bear hunting seasons be open in all or parts of at least 15 new counties. That includes eastern Hamilton, Bradley, and McMinn. Commissioners have the option to accept the recommendations of biologists or make changes of their own before the final vote in May. More details about the proposal can be found online at newschannel9.com.